So with many product lineups, we know what's coming next. They have a life cycle. So some products will come every 12 months and others every two years. But then every now and again, something comes along that we weren't expecting. It's a bit of a shock. And in today's video, we look at a new lineup of products from TaylorMade. And it is a lineup that is first of all, very impressive but also will make the competition take note. Now it's fair to say the premium putter space market is, uh, well, it's been dominated by a number of brands. I think Scotty Cameron being top of the pile, uh, Bettinardi, the Toulon designs in terms of the Odyssey putters, and then you've got the likes of Evenroll. Now Taylor May have obviously had a premium lineup, but this is the first time that they've really entered into that CNC milled face putter space and uh, they've done it in a big way with a lineup that is known as TP Reserve. That was a decent first roll and we'll talk about uh, what I think of these putters very shortly. But before we do that, maybe take a look at the lineup because there are plenty of models to choose from every shape and profile to suit every putter type and style. I must admit so far, I'm drawn to this mallet. Have we got it right this time? Almost. Now there are two things for me of real interest in this lineup and the first being the precision milling and the shaping of each and every one of these profiles. They really are incredibly easy on the eye. A superb finish, a premium finish as you would expect if you're going to enter into this marketplace like I said. But then the interesting thing for me is the kind of you'll see on every model is some perimeter weighting. That perimeter weighting means that we've got some high MOI which is of course in, in simple terms forgiveness i'm just going to get this other model out and believe me i'm not going to try and quote them because there are so many this is a trb31 it's a blade style putter i'm just going to see if we can get that up close have we got that in focus Han? maybe not yeah we go so you can see the precision milling in uh, the front of the face itself and then turn it round to the back side there's a lot of weight and mass been removed from directly behind the club face to be able to be spread in and around the uh, the perimeter of these putters which again has been allowing these to be more forgiving more stable and particularly interesting for me in this b 31 model is that I would naturally always be drawn to a mallet and I've hit lots of puts with this over the last few days and been really surprised at just how stable it is but once that stability thing has uh, sunk in we've got that bit we've got the fact that these things look good how do they sound and how do they perform on the greens today's video is brought to you in partnership with hot golf the online golf mega store bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the clubs featured in today's video find the link to the hot golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers the interesting thing for me and the challenge that TaylorMade have is that they're very much known for i would say their spider lineup their mallet of by far the first thing I think about putters and tailor made, that is where I would go to in terms of a mentality perspective. And the challenge they've got is they've got to get these putters in the hands of their tour pros, first of all, because I think they've got to buy into this concept of these new premium line of putters. And then I think they've got a genuine chance of the likes of you and I trying these things as well, because right now, unless Rory puts one of these in his bag, they're gonna have a bit of a struggle. But what I can tell you is, in terms of the performance on the greens, they're super soft, they're super premium. It's as simple as that. They've done an incredibly good job of a first attempt into this space. I know the TP lineup has always existed, but this is a step further again, in my opinion. And like I said, super soft off the face and uh, I can't help but be impressed. But I'm really keen to know, are we gonna see one of these putters from the lineup in the likes of uh, the hands of, well, Rory Morikawa? and such like because I think that will make a big difference and I think that's something that will really please that could be him yeah we've got one and that could be a really positive development for TaylorMade and I'm sure they're working on that right now I think I just want to reiterate that point about this B31 and I've only tried two putters that he uh, the, the mallet style that I've got on this B31. And like I said, I can't stress enough the stability that's in this thing that is very, very surprising indeed. The other thing then I would stress is something I've already mentioned as well, which is how soft they feel. They're absolutely superb. 
and like I said there is no doubt that these are a premium build and will certainly challenge all the names I've mentioned in terms of the quality of that build and the performance the question is are they going to get into the hands of the people you golfers out there that are currently spending on your your money on the likes of Scotty Cameron's very much a loyal following can Taylor May persuade you to give these one these ones a go so the question I'm answering, asking you in that comment section below, I'd really love to hear from you. Are you persuaded, particularly those uh, Scotty users right now, are you persuaded to give this TP Reserve lineup a bit of a go? Now I'm asking these questions about would you give these a go and would you be prepared to try them, but I think uh, one key element that I've not discussed as yet is the price point of these things. From what I'm seeing, they are selling at the moment on most online stores at 379. Now that of course is, turn, well, that was a misread and good pace though. That of course is again in that premium price category so it's something you've really got to consider and uh, like I said I think Taylor Maid have got a job on their hands getting these into the hands of golfers out there. Once they do that, once they get them in the hands of their tour pros as well, then I think you're all going to realise that this is, it might have been a shock in terms of what TaylorMade have done releasing these putters into this market space right now. Didn't see this one coming, but I think it's a real good move and I think it's a real good product they've got that they will no doubt as ever build on in the years ahead. So, if you're looking at a new putter, if you're going to spend big money, if you're in that 350 to 400 pound price category, then my advice would be, don't go for the obvious choice, make sure you give these things a go, because if like me, I think you'll be super impressed. Right, we've been filming that one in the rain, thank God we finished, it's short and sweet today. As ever, thanks for watching, don't forget to give me your feedback to that one question, are you going to give these a go, and uh, we're going to take some cover, I'll see you all tomorrow night.